Hello, my name is Steve, and I'm going to give a demonstration on how to use Trex and Luff lineups and uh, Atma card images with ball stat. So I'm just uh, showing my ball stat screen here and showing how I got to go through a couple little setup things here. I've got the date set for March 29th, Thursday in uh, 2018, which was the opening day of the baseball season and I'm going to use the uh, Yankees and Blue Jays opening day game to uh, demonstrate this. So what I'm doing is I use uh, I use Dropbox for all of my uh, well that's not what I was wanting to do. I use Dropbox for all of my uh, files and I can show you here in the folders I use Dropbox that's my t current tournament I'm playing but I save everything on Dropbox and have all of my different machines I've got a Surface I have a laptop and I have a desktop and I can use uh, any three of those with uh, Ballstat to uh, score games so I'm just going to demonstrate the uh, how I do this with with uh, ball stat to get the app images to show up and uh, let's get going here so what I do is I start off with uh, I go to tabletop functions and I have Trex rosters which are available on the uh, baseball for windows at the baseball a data file data disk and I have those saved on my Dropbox so uh, I'm gonna start off and just I don't remember if the Yankees or the Blue Jays were the home or away team but I'm just gonna let do the Yankees first so I go over here and load the uh, Yankees Trex file and then I'll have to save it which it'll ask me to do so I'll just uh, save that right here and it's overwriting the previous roster file I had in there. And then I know that uh, Tyler Austin and Brandon Drury are two players that I need to add to the Yankees uh, roster because the Trex file essentially has the uh, cards for players that ended the season with the team. So there's Tyler Austin. I add him. Then I'll go down here to Brendan Drury. Okay. Add him. Okay, so I've added those two players. And uh, I haven't checked the roster to know if there's other players I need to add, but I don't do as played as far as uh, replays and stuff. So now I need to go to the left lineups and I'm going to import the left lineup into the current roster. So I click on that. And again, this is a file I downloaded from the ATM manager for BBW group from Yahoo. And uh, I'll load the Yankees lineup. Now when I close that out and go back up here to load the lineup, you'll notice that all 10 spots for the Yankees are full from the pitcher to the 1 through 9 in the lineup. The Brandon Drury spot would have been blank and so would Tyler Austin. As you see there's other blanks in here from people that needed to be added for those to be filled in but I'm just setting this up for game one. And then I'm going to save the roster. Oh it wants me to do the team name. Yeah I forgot about that. Let's go up. 2018 New York Yankees. I'll save that. See, it's got that up here. Now when I click over to do the visiting team, we'll do the same thing. We'll go to the tabletop functions. We'll load the Trex roster. And it's going to come up and have Toronto there. And then I'm going to have to add three players for Toronto and 
uh, that'll be Josh Donaldson, Curtis Granderson, and J.A. Happ. So I'm going to retrieve those card images here. Granderson. Okay, added him. And J.A. Happ. I went a little fast there. J.A. Happ. I've added him. So now I'll go over here to the load their lineup. And it'll be this. Well, I, I forgot to do the uh, import. I've got to import the left's lineup. Okay, I do know that the Blue Jays lineup is at the bottom, because I have done this before. So I add the Blue Jays, then I close that out, go to load lineup, and you'll see a lot of them are populated, and there again, there's players that are missing that aren't in the 30 card pack, but you can add those players, they could be on another team, they could be in the minors. They could be the uh, XC card set, but you get all of them with the uh, data file that comes with baseball for Windows. And I need to enter my team name again. Okay, that looks good. Let's save everything. And to bring up the uh, card image, I go up here to View, Game Cards, and I go here. I'm going to turn off that blue dice. I'm going to refresh it, and it's going to come up with the first player up here. And then I will save that for if I'm going to play that game. And I can move that down here. And I always keep that troubleshoot icon up because I am prone to make mistakes. But that's all you have to do to load the uh, card images to use with ball stat. And uh, the one benefit of this is if I'm playing a game and uh, the card's in another envelope, I don't have to go chase that envelope down and get that card. I can just go buy the card image on here. And if it's a picture, I'd have to go ahead and do it. Although I could pull up the image for the pitcher in a baseball for windows under the draft advanced draft and I can view the card image there but uh, I usually just write them down on a piece of paper anyway the grades and ratings for the pitchers because I usually play with the DH but anyway that's how you do it and uh, if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and uh, there again if there's anything I can do to help just uh, drop me a line Thanks a lot. Goodbye.